Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show how do we upload records into PostgreSQL database from FTP server. Let's begin and see how we can use PostgreSQL adapter to load data into it. So what I'm going to show, I'm going to create a schedule integration. In this integration, I'll consider I already have the FTP where the file resides. The file can contain any data. It can be supplier, <clears throat> it can be invoice, it can be purchase order data, it can be employee data, it can be any other data set. I need to read that file and then push that data into PostgreSQL DB with the help of PostgreSQL adapter. Let's look at it and see how this can be done in Oracle integration. So let me go to <clears throat> here and let's create an integration here, schedule based. And let's say insert data to post gray SQL. Okay. Let me put this under a package called Super dot post sql and let's say create so first thing first we are going to use the ftp connection to read the file read file and then continue read a file as key i am using the directory here slash supplier so here's a direct record supplier and the file name is supplier.csv so i am reading the supplier data continue the file is csv continue and then upload the sample file supplier.csv let's say supplier and supplier set there if you see we have this structure of my supplier file supplier id name supplier number taxpayer country code du and su number and status continue and finish so this invoke will invoke the file and after that what we are going to do we are going to use the postgre sql connection and there we use our insert operation insert data and from there, we will choose an operation called perform an operation on a table, which will be used to perform operation directly on the table. Choose this operation. And from here, you can choose whatever operation you want to use. Let's say insert and continue. On the next screen, you have to choose a schema called public and search all your tables. So it will show all the tables. I have a table called suppliers. Next. And on the, on the scroll, you have to click on import tables. And here you can see as I don't have any primary key on this table, you have to choose one supplier, one key to make it primary. So I will choose primary key as a supplier ID. Continue. On the next screen, you can add it a relationship between tables, if any, or you can filter the columns. Maybe you don't want to insert the data in all the columns if you want to if you don't want to include any one of the columns in the mapper you can uncheck the corresponding checkbox let's use everything for now and continue <clears throat> and finish on the next as the next step you have to map the data so open this let's say suppliers Read file response. Supplier set. Supplier. And let's map this to this. Supplier ID. Supplier name. Supplier number. Text pair country. DU and SU number. And then status. Let's validate your mapper. Okay, close this mapper and then 
activate your integration save click outside close the integration and let's say activate this integration refresh So now integration is ready. Let's run this. And then run. So the data will be read from your FTP and will be loaded into your Postgre. Refresh this. Refresh. And here you go. Process completed successfully. Now I will show you the data in my Postgre SQL. So, okay, so let me show you. So here you can see I earlier made a query select to start from supplier and there was no record, zero rows. Let's make this query again. And here you see we have eight rows which has been inserted into the suppliers table. So this is how you can Simply put the data into your PostgreSQL. I hope you find this video helpful. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.